lighter colors, uh, black on white, white on black is your golden rule when painting to show things. First I'm going to paint the outline of a pear. Uh, you notice I'm going to do a little circle at the top and then a round circle at the bottom. Now this is allowing me to judge the size that I want to paint. And when you paint the little circle at the top, it becomes sort of like a little cone. Now you can shape the pear exactly how you want it to look. You just shape the pear, and all of a sudden, you have two pears ready to be painted. I'm blocking in the pears with a cad yellow light and a touch of black. That's going to be the body color of my pear. Now you notice the bottom of this pear is a bit squared and that's the way you want it. You want no pear is completely round at the bottom nor at the top. Now I'm just doing little strokes. And the brush that I'm using is a number four and it's a round tip brush. Uh, it really allows me to get to the edges of the pear. There we go. Now I'm putting in a bit of a, a darker color of yellow, it's yellow orca, and I'm putting a little touch of red with it. And what I'm doing is starting to bring shadows into my painting. Uh, I also I put a little bit of black and crimson red, uh, or raw ombre and red. The, the painting itself will start forming as soon as you start putting the dark on the light. Uh, just little strokes. Now remember when you're painting anything that is circular like a pear, apple, grapes, light comes from the top and light comes from the side. You don't want to paint flat, you want to paint something that's round. So now what I'm putting on is a reflective light. Now, the reflective light is raw amber and a yellow green. And I made the yellow green with a yellow, a cad yellow light and a, just a, t a little bit of sap green. And now, I paint my reflective light to the edge of my pears and to the bottom of my pears. Now, all the time that I'm painting, I'm thinking a ball. Uh, I'm not thinking flat. So one side of my pear is going to end up a bit darker than the other. The bottom's going to be a little bit darker than the center of the pear. So here I'm going to start putting a lighter paint. I'm using a cad yellow light with a white and again a, a little bit of green. I'm just Covering in where I think the light will be hitting this pair, mainly on the top and to the left side. Now I'm leaving a little ridge where the top of your pair meets the bulk of the pair. It's like a little cone on the top, so there should be a little bit of a shadow there, and that's what you're seeing with the light. I'm putting this lighter paint on ensuring that my dark paints are showing through. Now every area that I'm painting is always in threes. Like if I paint a dark, it's going to be a dark, light, and lighter within that dark itself. Now here we go with a little bit of lighter paint over the previous paint, the actual 
mass paint that we put on the pair. Now it's starting to get the shape of of a ball. Now I'm changing brushes. What I'm taking is my liner brush and I took a little bit of the raw umber and I put a little bit of yellow in it, a touch of white and this is going to start showing the stem color that I'm looking for. Now the stem goes into the pear at the top so at the bottom of the stem there's a bit of darkness. It's sort of like two lines meeting the stem that's uh, creating the shape that you're looking for when you're painting a pear. At the end when we put highlights on I'll just put a dab on each one of the stems and that'll bring the stem out to the eye to see. As you see the the pear is coming along it's starting to actually look like a pear now. Uh, no stem is straight. Uh, make a little crook to the stem. And while you have this color out, the little raw umber and a little bit of yellow, just dab a little bit here on the pear if you think it should be a little bit more shaded. Now all pears have a greenish tinge to it so I've put a little bit of green into my reflective light along with the yellow and that's made it a little bit darker and I've now painting shade again on this pear. Now I'm taking a brush, a flat brush, it's just a half inch flash brush and I'm blending the colors. Now this is just making the texture of the pear look smooth. You don't need to do this because some people like to have a rough thick look on when painting a pear. I, I sort of like a realistic smooth look. Now I'm using a flat brush and I'm going to put in a highlight. Now the highlight is white with just a touch of cad red. I'm just touching the pear and I'm making sure that the majority of the light is coming from the left and top because this is where the light is shining on this pear. Now be sure to leave your sh your shadows. Be sure to leave your indentations that you find in, in fruit. And when you're putting on the highlight, just barely touch it and let the brush do the work. Now you see I'm blending the lighter color into the dark color. I like to see them blend uh, so that one meets another without any lines whatsoever. Now I'm just going to cover in the bottom. Uh, any shadow uh, basically uh, is in three colors again. You have your darker color which is near the bottom of your pear. I'm using the green just to show you the actual color uh, or shade that uh, you're creating. It's dark near your pear and then it gets lighter. Now sometimes when you make a shadow it goes oval. Uh, you'll have a darkness underneath your pear and then you would have another layer moving out from the pear oval shape 
uh, three colors. You'll have your dark shade, your lighter shade, and your lighter shade that goes off into whatever setting on. I just put dark, put a little bit of light in the front, just, just to show that uh, a shade uh, can be created. I didn't want to go gray. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting a little bit of reflective light on the pair, and I'm using a raw amber, a little bit of yellow green again, because any time the pair touches the ground, it's going to be a little bit on the darker side. Now, reflective light, if you put it wherever there's a dark spot, it's going to start creating this ball look uh, that you're trying to strive for when you're painting a fruit. And just to remind you, reflective light is basically raw amber and yellow and a green in the case of this uh, painting of a pear. You can also use raw sienna uh, and yellow green. Works well. Now just sit back and look and see what you should do to make the pear more realistic. I find that where the stem went into the pear, it should be darkened up a wee bit. So I'm just going to use the shadow color of black and crimson red and just touch that little area up. 